Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do my hair like this. The reason why I decided to do it is because on Snapchat, I'll tell you guys a before and after, or I'll show you guys a before and after. Yes, I do have Snapchat, so if you're not following me there and you want to, I will leave my name right here so you can check it out. And, you know, just check out what I do on a daily basis if you want to. But sometimes I'll post a picture of before and after, and when my hair is wet, that's the before, and then it looks like this. And a lot of you, every single time, I upload that picture, I get questions on how did you do your hair, I love your hair, how did you do it, or what do you use for your hair. So I said this is going to be the perfect time for me to just not tell you or tell you the product, but to show you exactly what I do. So this will help you out whether you have thin hair, thick hair, curly hair, or straight hair because it will give you some volume. One thing that I wanted to mention is if you have damaged hair, this will work and it'll make your hair look less damaged and more manageable. I have had damaged hair for so many years. If you have followed me here on YouTube and you've seen my hair stages, I have been trying to have like a, a kind of like a healthy hair journey I've shown you guys in videos and or I'll talk about it and my hair has been through the most horrible hair stages ever because I bleached it, I've done highlights, I dyed it black and then I wanted it light again so just so many things and every time I would use this it makes it look a little better. I'm not saying that it's going to look perfect but it is going to look better than if you were to just straighten it or if you were to just use a curler so this helps so much with that. So the product that I like to use is this one by Revlon and I call this a blow dryer brush which is what I'm going to refer it by throughout the whole video because I don't know what else to call it and I don't have the box. But this one is the Revlon Ionic and I know that they have several colors except it's in different prices. So this one ranges between $25 and $30 although I did have their old one but I bought this like four years ago and they used to make it pink. I haven't seen it pink anymore and this one stopped working about six months ago which is whenever I bought this one. This one I got at Walmart for about $27 and this one I got at Target for about $29. So it was a little closer to 30 but you know it, it it's just between those so what you want to look for in a brush like this is that the bristles are close together just because it'll help comb your hair through and dry your hair evenly and straight there are some that have pointy or the bristles are separate from each other and I've tried those and I've had to exchange them just because they don't work out for me especially for my thick full hair I feel like since the ones that are separate don't work on my hair I think it's because my hair is so thick and it is curly that it'll just like have those pieces missing and it won't dry it evenly as it does on the parts that it has the bristles, if that makes any sense. So that's why I prefer one of these and this works perfectly. So what I do is I take a shower and I leave my hair in the towel for about 10 minutes just so it can soak up all the water. You don't want to use soaking wet hair with this because it's just not going to work. And another thing that I do after I take off the towel is I leave it air drying for about 20 to 30 minutes. I know it seems like a long process but I promise you that it will make it a little easier. I have tried doing my hair when it's just wet and it works but it just takes a lot longer so if your hair is short and it's not as curly as mine then that will work for you but if your hair is long and thick then it's it's just gonna take forever and that's what I don't want so I do let it air dry between 30 20 to 30 minutes and once it's like half wet half dry you don't want it to be super dry because then it's not going to straighten then I'll work in sections so what I like to do first is I'll work from the back because that's what takes a little longer and I'll pin the wet or damp hair on top and what you want to do is not let your damp hair touch the dry areas or the areas that you already worked on because then you're just wetting the dry hair so it's just going to go back to being frizzy or it's just not going to look the same. So you want to make sure that you keep that separated. Now once you have more practice and you're pretty good at it, sometimes I do that, like it doesn't matter to me, I can let down one piece and be working on it but I already have a piece waiting for me on this side because I know I'm not going to take that long, I already have a lot of time doing this like a few years so I'll know I'll finish fast and then I'll do this side it will take some practice and if your hair is anything longer than like shoulder length and it's curly and thick you are going to probably get frustrated at first but just keep working on it and I promise you that 
you'll get used to it. You'll start learning how to use the brush and what, you know, what will work for you, you know, your hand movements and all of that. So that's going to be all on you, but I did want to share with you what I use. And what you want to do is do the exact same thing as you would when you're curling it. So you want to do it away from your face. So that's how I get this little hair, you know, pushed back and then flipped out is I just work away from my face and then it looks, you know, like it's pointing towards the back like there's just wind blowing through my face and it's pushing my hair back so I really like the way that it looks I feel like it looks nice and it lasts me for about three days on the third night I already have to wash it because my hair does get oily really fast and you also don't want to be blow drying your hair like this every single day it's really easy for me now like I do this in about 20 to 25 minutes like I'll do my whole hair and it's just so fast and the, uh, and the results are just beautiful. Like, I love the way that it looks. I also feel like this is super easy to do when you have short hair. I used to do this all the time when my hair was shorter, like about my shoulders. And they do come with one of these, so it, it comes included with the package. And if you have thinner hair, I think that'll work too, because it'll give you more of a volume since it's thinner. It's just like using a curling iron. If you use a thin curling iron, you're gonna get more of a curl, versus if you use a thick curling iron, you're gonna get more of a wave. So that's the exact same thing. I've always loved the way it looks with a thick one, even whenever I had short hair, just so it could look voluminous and, you know, it was still short, but it would still, you know, flip out a little bit. And not a lot of people like the flipped out look, but within like a little while, it doesn't look as flipped out as it does whenever you first do it. So in the demo, it does probably look a lot more. And now that it's been a little while, I've been doing my makeup and all that stuff. So it just flattens out just a tiny bit. I do have layers in my hair in case you're wondering. They're already a little grown out. I haven't cut my hair in a while, but my hair is just, you know, this length just because I let it grow out from whenever I cut it up to here and the layers are still kind of there so if you have layers it'll be it'll show up more bottom which is why I like to keep long layers just so it can show up like this and it just looks really pretty so I'm gonna just show you the way that it looks a little bit this is the way that it looks from the side you can tell that from the demo it was a little more flipped out and now it's just a tiny bit less but I still love the way that it looks. Now, if you want it to stay a little longer, you know, in a flipped out way, you can add some hairspray if you want. I just prefer not to do that because I don't really like that look. I like more of like this look where it looks more relaxed. What I feel gives me more volume on top is whenever I'm doing the front. I like to pull that to the front and I know I look a little crazy throughout the demo, but I like to pull it throughout the front and flip it back. So that way whenever I part it and push it towards the back, it just gives, it creates like this volume around my head. It gives me more volume at the root without making my hair look like it's overdone. You know what I mean? Like too, too done up for something that's not that special, like not a real special occasion. It's just for a video. I don't need, you know, super Super curly hair or super voluminous hair you know what I mean it's just something simple and relaxed and I can do it really fast so that is it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you've tried it and how long it took you to master it because I know it took me a little while but I love this product and if it ever messes up again I'll just rebuy it repurchase it because I can't live without this product it is just the most perfect product to use in my hair as of now. This is my favorite thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook, and all social media stuff. I will have everything right here. And I also have it linked in the description box so it's easy for you to find. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see here on Beauty News, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.